This is the Bamboo Labs P1S 3D printer, and it's an unbelievable machine. But there's one big issue. The air quality is pretty bad, especially with filaments like ABS. These filaments, when printed, emit nanoparticles that are between 2 and 100 nanometers. We're going to use this detector to figure out how many nanoparticles this printer is emitting. We'll start the test with no filter. Now we're going to try this test with the stock air filter that comes with the printer. Let's take out the stock air filter and see what's inside. It uses these large pieces of activated carbon. Let's try replacing the stock filter with this voxel PLA filter. Now, the thing that makes this filter better than the stock is first off, it has foam going all around, open cell foam. That foam is gonna give you a better seal when you actually place the filter in. The other thing is that it has a HEPA 13 filter right on top. So that's gonna block a lot of nanoparticles and that's not featured in the original filter. It also, like the original filter, has those carbon pieces inside. But the thing with this name brand version is that those pieces are very tiny. They're gonna have more surface area when the air is flowing through it. Let's see how the voxel filter does after many hours of printing. We're also going to take a look at another product by Voxel. It's this bento box filter. Now the way this works is we're gonna go top down. If we take off the top, you can see that it has that filter inside, the HEPA filter. And inside here in the midsection, you can hear the carbon. And then at the base, we have two fans. We're gonna pull out the Voxel filter that we put in and we're just gonna use the bento box. In conclusion, I'm very impressed with both of these filters. I think that the Bamboo Lab X filter is probably going to be the best bet for most people. Um, I think the bento box is a little bit overkill. If you're printing nylon and carbon fiber day in and day out, then you might want to get a bento box. But if you're just a hobbyist who's once in a while printing high temp exotic materials, then I think that this HEPA filter is going to be a big upgrade. And I would really hope to see Bamboo include a filter like this stock instead of just a filter with carbon and no HEPA 13 layer. Just a disclaimer, I was not offered any of these products for free from Voxel. I bought them all myself. I just wanted to look more into health when it comes to 3D printing and some of the products that are available that we can upgrade for. Thanks for watching.